this will be another test of how everything goes with the camera. I think I have the GoPro on and now I'm gonna turn it on right here. So that should be the GoPro. And now with the Lumix, we're gonna start the video right here. Here's the GoPro and now I should be able to position the camera down there and now we should see everything in clear view. But since this is a test, we are kind of expecting not great. So the GoPro right now is on the top right and it is angled that way and the Lumix is straight ahead. So we'll see how these angles work and probably adjust them as we're going because I mean looking straight ahead at the trails we're not exactly seeing too much cool stuff man these bugs are crazy annoying so the main reason I made this cage I'm gonna wait for that airplane So, the main reason I made this cage is because sometimes I am kind of awkward with holding the camera and especially when I'm walking, which we'll see over here. But if I'm walking with the camera, it's very, very, very shaky. This will allow me to hold it with two hands and hopefully be a little bit less shaky horizontally. I'll still probably have a little bit of steps from walking with, with like stepping. But at least this will give me the opportunity to pan really nicely. Okay, I wanted to make sure that I was zoomed out good. And you know what? We are going to move the GoPro so that it's looking up. Maybe that'll give us an interesting view. Who knows? I'll probably be adjusting the cameras as we go. There are so many bugs. And one right, flew right by my hearing aid mic right now. Man, that is loud. So now we can go that path, or this path. We're going to go this path because that's away from the uh, cars. And now we're going to flip this up, but it touches the mic. So I don't know if we can do that. We're going to just put it back to normal. I'm going to have so many mosquito bites. It's crazy. So the setup right now is 
just one mount that has the normal tripod threads on it, just plain, where I can put the ball head for the for what the iPhone is on right now, so that I can rotate it if I would need to. One hot shoe that I actually cold shoe. Ooh, almost tripped there. One cold shoe for the mic that's connected to the camera, the Lumix right now, which I do have an issue that's been popping up with the Lumix that makes it go click, 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 click. So who knows if that'll show up. I'll probably just isolate one of these channels so then mute the other ones so you're not hearing too much um echo unless uh, actually will be perfectly sync so it really won't matter we'll see i'll post it in some way that's all we need to know But now we look like we're getting up to the top of at least one hill. You're not gonna be able to see great because you're still looking at trees after trees after trees. And let's see if we can we can rotate that basically any way we wanted. Let's see if we can. Sorry, my arms are in the way. Man, I see like five mosquitoes on me right now. If we take, if we twist this out. wrong one and take the gopher out and put it right underneath the I'm gonna start moving because all these mosquitoes are feasting on me and moving this so that it's on the ground so that we can adjust this a little and should be able to See a couple angles a little bit better. We're walking down the hill right now. And one of the coolest things I like about these camera projects that I'm doing this year is most of the time is not spent printing or designing them as much as testing and playing around with them um, and doing basically what I'm doing right now and trying to take videos with them and let's see let's go that way and yeah that it's a nice nice opportunity we're going to take another trip down this path because you know what I do sometimes see water over here but who knows if it'll actually be showing up today hopefully it will be but I would not be surprised if it's not I think I'm hearing a little bit of water but it could just be background noise from my hearing aid for because right there is normally a stream, but there's nothing there. This was a bad choice of drills to go to today 
because I'm going to have like 50 different mosquito bites. Oh my goodness. That is... Oh my... They are eating me like crazy. <clears throat> Sorry. So, I can say that I do like this. Oh, I oh, almost stripped there. Scratching the back of my neck. So, I can say that I do like this a lot because you'll see as I'm moving hands and stuff that this is a nice accessibility tool for me where normally I wouldn't be able to do this and and keep the what am I trying to say and keep the camera relatively steady I think this way so it, it's a nice proof of concept and I probably will have to find up more but it works exactly what I wanted it to I mean, this was a test to see how, how much I could put on there. So being able to have the camera and a front facing cam uh, phone and my GoPro all on there at one time is kind of nice, especially now that I had the external microphone. And I still do have one cold shoe that's open right now, which, whew, how does the blood fly in there? So this is kind of nice. And I, this is still open where I could zoom it. And I do have the option to do a bunch of stuff, but this is a nice, nice little setup I have here. I'm really happy with what I have right now. So I would highly recommend this if someone is interested in camera and and interested well and and has limitations of what they can hold and whatnot because I, I do have a lot of those limitations where it's not, it's not easily seen, but when it comes to smaller parts or heavier parts, then I seem to have more. So, and being deaf in my right ear, having a lot of problems with my right eye, not being able to, kind of being partially paralyzed on the right side of my face. I have a lot of silent disabilities where I, I don't consider them too much of disabilities because I can handle them and I know a lot of people have, have it worse than me. So I don't know how we got so far philosophical with testing a camera cage i'm gonna stop talking now and bid you farewell bye